Hello and welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I'm in Ohio and I'm sitting at a game store. I've got four bins of trade-in. You can see one right there. I got four bins like that. And hopefully we'll get a couple hundred dollars in trade-in value and some great deals on some games. So let's do it. I dropped off my trade-in, all four bins, and it's going to take them a while, so decided I'm going to thrift the town, came to Goodwill, which was like a minute down the road, and was pleasantly surprised. So this Goodwill was weird. They don't have an electronic section at all. I even asked. Uh, they must send all that stuff off to shop Goodwill. But they had some awesome Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games, which I was very surprised. Uh, $2.99 each. We got Donkey Kong Land 2, Super Street Fighter 2, that's a cool one to find, uh, Sonic Advance plus Sonic Pinball Party, one of my favorites, Mario Bros Deluxe, played that one back in the day, played both of the Mario Lands, those are fun games, uh, Naruto 2, TMNT 2, uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. You don't find Mario's very often at Goodwills. TMNT, especially this one because they were, well I've never been to this one, but they were advertising um, the Shop Goodwill site, so you would think they would send Mario's off to that, but Mario Kart. Probably the coolest in my opinion, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Sonic Advance 3. Teen Titans, got Super Mario Advance, and Donkey Kong Country. Then I also picked up this Guitar Hero 3, which I love bundling with the Les Paul guitar for PS3. And then these were a buck each, got two sets of AV cables. I bundled these in with my NES systems. And for a buck, I'm realizing that you know you can get decent quality ones at Goodwill for a dollar each. And that's just that's just the way to go. I mean, garage sales maybe even a quarter each, but I'll pay a buck each, no more. For those of you that don't know, I collect video games. Um, I'm kind of at the point in my collection where I have most of the stuff that I want, or you know, most of the stuff that I want to play or collect. So now I'm at the point where I pretty much sell most of the games I get, and with the profits I buy new switch games and I just picked up a PS4 so I buy my PS4 games that way I actually have picked up all my PS4 games with GameStop credit um, so yeah I'm a full-time reseller I do um, mostly Amazon and I do eBay 
and currently I'm working on expanding eBay a little bit because I'm about 90% Amazon, 10% eBay, and I want to get it closer to 80% Amazon, 20% eBay. But yeah, let's keep thrifting and hopefully find some more deals like that. I was on the way to the next thrift store, which I'm sitting in the parking lot right now. It's a local thrift store, and ran by a pawn shop, which I had seen online, and it didn't get the best reviews, but after going in there, I don't know why. People were super nice, and their 360, PS3, and Wii games were flat price. Five bucks a game, and boy do I love flat price game pawn shops, because you can find some decent stuff. So the Super Nintendo games were five bucks a piece. There weren't any gems, but I did get NBA Jam Tournament Edition for five bucks. Certainly not upset about that. Now this was the only DS game I got. It was marked at ten. I picked it up for eight, and it is complete. And it's actually worth more than that. Complete. So had to pick that one up. Ace Combat Six, five bucks. And the rest of the games were all five, except for one which was cheaper. Minecraft Story Mode. Battle Stations Midway complete. Naruto. Um, this actually has like the little trading card in there, still unopened. Five bucks. Bully complete. And there's actually two discs in there, and it's a one disc game. It's just got two games and two of the same game. Uh, Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. That one's complete. And then Sims 3, kind of rough shape. So I got that one for $3. Also got an Xbox 360 wireless adapter. It was marked at 10. I picked it up for 7. And then a Super Nintendo original power cord. Um, picked that up for 4 bucks. So, decent little pawn shop. I think it was called American Pawn. And I'm definitely happy I stopped in. Let's go to the thrift store. Well, that was a decent little thrift shop I got. All complete. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for 6 bucks. Star Wars Battlefront 1 for 4 bucks. And the Bigs 2 for 6 bucks. Um, this one is on the sports game list. So a lot of times people ask where that list is. The only place it is is on the sports game list video in the description. So that's where the link is. So if you don't have the sports game list, go there, check it out. It's a, um, I think it's on Google Sheets. So. Once you get the link, you can bookmark it and have it forever. It's free. Just wanted to be able to help you guys out. So check out that list if you've never checked it out before. It is now 12.42, and I'm going to head back to the video game store. So hopefully they got some good games. This has been one that I've got just stacks of games in the past, but that's because it was like grand opening and they really packed it. It's been a few months, probably like six months since the opening, so... Let's see how good or not good they are now. Alright, so I got to that disc trader at 10.30, it is now 1.30, and I'm finally done, checked out, very happy with how much trade-in they took. They ended up taking about two and a half bins worth of stuff, so I've got one and a half bins full left, and I got a grand total store credit of $392. So that is fantastic. I had a ton of Wii games, I think they took like a hundred Wii games, 
um, like Wii accessories, randomness, Xbox 360, you know, just games that I can't sell individually, and these things just pile up, and they're taking up space in the garage, so I'm stoked to have them out. <clears throat> um, the sad thing is, this store isn't quite the same as it was the first month that it opened. Um, last time I came here, I got over 100 games, and I'm pretty sure I did the first time, too, for just amazing deals. Their videos are... They're somewhere back in my feed. Just stacks of games. This time, didn't get quite as many, but I still got a few. So I got Wii Fit Plus Bundler for 3 bucks. So yeah, that one was one of the freebies. This one was also one of the freebies. Port, Port Royale 3, complete. <coughs> Legends of WrestleMania, complete for 7 Avengers Battle for Earth for 7 bucks. Time Splitters 2 on the original Xbox. Batman Rise of Sun Tzu on the GameCube. Madden 12 PSP. Sports Game List, another one. It's worth something because it is the last Madden on the PSP. Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Volume 2 complete for 5. Ace Combat X for eight bucks and a little big planet on the Vita for eight dollars <clears throat> got a Sega Saturn controller this was one of the freebies it was marked at 13 master system controller for eight and another Sega Saturn controller for 13 so if you're doing the math that doesn't quite get us to three hundred ninety two dollars in credit so I decided to get some special edition 3DS XLs, starting with the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Edition for 105. It's a beautiful system. Then you got this uh, Mario regular 3DS XL for 75. And love this one as well, the Solgaleo Pokemon new 3DS XL for 105. So my total came to like 420 bucks. 416 bucks because I ended up paying $24 for everything. I got rid of a ton of stuff that was just taking up space in the garage and turned that into a small stack of beauties. So I'd say it was definitely a successful trip. And I got to venture two and a half hours home and I might make some stops along the way. I'll bring you guys with me. Well, I'm back into Michigan. Got about 50 minutes to go till I get home. And I just went to the last Goodwill of the day and struck out. So that is going to be it for the day. It was definitely a quality day. I'm definitely happy with the amount of trading I got and those awesome special edition 3DS's. And I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. I mentioned in this video the sports game list. So make sure if you haven't checked that out, go to the sports game list video uh, in my videos and go in the little description. Check out the link there. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. That would be awesome. Put out videos every Friday, often more than that and have plenty more awesome videos to come. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week.